Hey YouTube! So this week is going to be a new thing that I do with my friend Andy here. He's Andy. alive. What? How? <laughs> Magic. I'm alive. Who would have guessed? But we're going to do this thing. It's like entertainment based because we're both in the entertainment business. Yes. Or we're trying to be. He's like for two things. I'm just film. Mm -hmm. So introduce yourself. Working away. Uh, I'm Andy. I'm from New York. Originally from New York. I moved to Cali. Uh, to become an editor and an actor, because I love acting, and yeah, I mean, I'm here, here to do great shit, so let's do it. I make music on the side, uh, rap, rap name Indian Homicide, go check my stuff out, uh, I'll be posting a lot of stuff. I also have a YouTube channel, just Andy Guptar, you can check out all my shit on there too. The first thing we're going to talk about is movie releases that are coming out this weekend. He's actually going to talk about one that came out in Hollywood already. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, silence. Uh, the movie's about a man who goes on a journey to spread pretty much to spread uh, the culture, the, uh, the religion, the religion of uh, Christianity, I think it is, or something like that. So if you're a religious person, this movie's gonna touch you, like, very... It's gonna, it's gonna touch you guys specifically, if you guys are very religious, because, I mean, it shows, like, the brutality of how it was back then, and how, like, it was really hard for religion to be spread without there being blood that was shed. So, I mean, yeah, but it, for me, it, it touched me a lot. I'm not really that much of a religious person. I believe in other things, but, I mean, um... Besides just that, it just like it, I, I kind of like, I was in the shoes of a Christian. Like, you know, you, you put yourself in the shoes of that. Sounds like and a movie. You, yeah, have it, it's a, it. you have to watch it. The cinematography, everything about the movie was just amazing. So this I, is our film side coming out. Right, now. this is, I mean, <laughs> just everything about it, the way it was made was just beautiful. I recommend the movie to all you guys. Go ahead and watch it. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. It may change your views too on like religion and stuff like that. It's, it's crazy. It's just one big, one big mind. Mind F U C K, you know. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna talk about Split, which comes out. It's already out because it comes out on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Whatever. So it comes out. It's out, and I cannot wait to see this film. It just looks so good. It has that creepy vibe, but then there's like other things going on. The actor, the actress, <sighs> she's great. Both of them are. Uh -huh. The actor's good. Actress looks good. She her performance looks really good mm -hmm. during the trailer. And it's just gonna be like a new type of horror. It kind of reminds me of Don't Breathe. So if you've seen that, it kind of reminds Good one. me of that. Yeah, don't, yeah yes. I'd, I'd recommend so, that too. Don't, don't Breathe. breathe. Oh. So we're gonna go from movies to music, which is his thing. Yes, yes. He's more rap-ish, unlike <laughs> mix of everything. Yeah. So that's why I chose him for the movies and everything, because he's definitely a good partner when it comes to diversity. Mm -hmm. Not just because of the color of his skin, but... <laughs> So, my must listen to is Ed Sheeran's new song, Shape of You. It's so good. The album that I would recommend to you guys is Post Malone's Stony album. I mean, it's just, it was amazing. All the songs <coughs> from, from, from Go Flex to Yours Truly uh, and then to, uh, what was the other one? Um, like, oh. Too Young, Too Young. Just amazing songs. Like, it really, when I, I mean, I'm a rapper and everything. I love rap and everything, but like, Post Malone's on a whole new level. His, his, his music for me is... It's moved me in a different place, and it's even even you, Daisha. You should try to listen to Post Malone. I mean, he's he's so good. Full thing. Yeah, he's so. I mean, he's he's like his instrumentals are more like acoustic, you know. Okay. More than anything, well, it's, it's, it's not like... it's not like a hype trap rap beats or anything like that. It's he's he's more like sounds, chill. Sounds like something yeah, I would like. Yeah, he's more chill. So I I recommend to all you guys uh, check out that album okay. and check out Star Boys Star Boy, uh, the Weekends album too. That was that was a good one. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to TV shows. Both yeah. of our TV shows are Netflix series. Yes. Mine has been out. It's Fuller House. And I'm only halfway through and I already love it. So I have to finish it. Yeah. Fuller House, yeah. go watch it. I love the second season so far. It's really good. The first season, the greatest thing in the world. So funny. If you like the original Full House, you will love this one. Same comedy, same everything. Yeah. It's just more modern. So I have like two, sh I have two shows in mind. So if you guys didn't check out, um, if you guys didn't check out, what, what was the show? Uh, Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Oh. If you guys did not check out Stranger Things, check it out. You're a year amazing. late. Yeah, you're, you're late, but it's it's amazing. It's just really an amazing show. If you guys are into all that um, supernatural shit, all that all that sci-fi shit, it's great. The, other, uh, the the next show that I want that I would recommend is OA. Although I haven't personally watched it myself, but I've been I've been getting back a lot of good reviews on it. So I guess I should just make the recommendation anyways. Check out uh, the OA because it's also about some sci-fi supernatural shit. And uh, it's, it's awesome. America's Next Top Model. Tired Bank still owns it and still produces it, so it's still good. 
but Rita Ora is the host. And I didn't mm -hmm. think I was gonna like her, but I actually like her. Yeah. Something about her. I don't know what it is. It might be the accent. It might be because she's hot. She is kind of hot. Rita Ora. Have you seen her? No, I haven't seen her. She's a rapper. Or she's oh, a, really? She's, a, she's an entertainer. I mean, she's hot, so I'm gonna be interested. Yeah. If she's hot, but I'm interested. She is, she's actually really good. The mo I'm mad that they took out boys. I'm really oh, mad about that. Man. So they only have girls. But the girls, the girl, they're bitches because they're girls. <laughs> but they're, some of them, they're gonna win. Like, I can already tell. They're gonna be top five. Top five. Definitely have my top five. But moving on, we're gonna talk about video games. You guys knew when it came out, I was like, yes, no toddlers. I was so happy because I hate taking care of toddlers. I hate having to teach them to do things. It bothers me so much. Kids are the be, worst. Guys, I'm gonna be the worst mother. Let's just say that. But hopefully not. Not a big kids fan either myself. I was like, I love kids. But Sims kids, I do not like. I want to do other things. Sims kids. I don't want to take care of this two-year-old. So, the new update that they came out, they surprised everyone. They're like, ooh, new year. Full of surprises. I was so mad. They had an update with toddlers. I've not personally played it. But I already know I'm not going to like it. They're really cute though. I'm going to give them that. They did a really good job with that. Like designing them. But. Which is bad. Because my, my, one of, in my current household. My son just had a baby. So that means it's going to become a toddler. Really? I was like. Oh, oh shit. That sucks. I could have just yeah. skipped this. But. I'll let you guys know after I've experienced the toddler experience. And if I still have the hatred for toddlers. Not much of a gamer myself though. Uh, I'll, I'll give you that. I'm more GTA. But. As far as GTA goes, I don't know if you guys have already seen this, I think most GTA uh, fans have already seen this. Um, it came out I think in the months of November, I think last month to like November I think. Uh, import and export on GTA 5 online, because I mean it, I, 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 saw, I saw the trailer for it and it's, it's amazing. It's amazing how they're introducing like 500 new cars apparently and, um, and all these new things you can buy, like all these new models of jets and stuff like that. I mean, things are, things are getting way more serious. In GTA 5 Online, you know, I think uh, there's so much money to be made yet, and uh, so much properties for me to buy. So I mean, like, it's just this import and export is going to be such a plus, you know, for all you GTA 5 millionaires out there or billionaires. Uh, that's all I can say about GTA. I mean, I'm excited, and I know you guys are excited too. So yeah, carry on. Oh like, man, we got got through a lot of this. We did. Yeah. We did movies. We did music. We did. What else do we do? TV shows. T TV shows. Video games. Yeah. And it's not going to be like this all the time. One, because I am going to do other stuff. So, <laughs> this is going to be an every week thing. So, don't expect this next week. Because it's my birthday. 21st birthday party time. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, it is. Happy birthday to Daisha, everyone. <laughs> thanks. Yeah. Hit me up on Twitter. Hope you guys enjoyed having Andy here. Not just my face. Because I know you guys probably get tired of that. Because I do. It's a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. And uh, hopefully we're doing more stuff. Please subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Leave comments down below of what you thought of this, and give me more ideas what you want to see with my friend Andy here. Cool, cool, cool. Love you guys, and I All will right, see guys. you next week. See you.